Hi there, ladies and gentlemen out in internet land. This is your friend Charlie Hunter with the Reasonably Fine Art Talk. Ms. Betty Sue is upstairs on the third floor pulling the strings behind the scenes. And with us today is one of my favorite painters, uh, Miss Felicia Forte, who I first met at uh, the Plein Air Convention in Monterey, California in 2014, I think it was. And she is a peripatetic, she's a peripatetic artist uh, and is doing wonderful, wonderful work. I think it's really exciting to have her with us today. Welcome, Felicia. Thank you. Thank you for having me. It's fun to talk to you again. It's been a while. It's been a while. Yeah. So your, your history, you just outlined it to me and you, it was, as I said, peripatetic, far more peripatetic than I had thought. You were originally from L.A., Mm -hmm. you, you went to New York where you studied at the Art, Stu uh, the Arts, Art Students League. Yeah, Art. not that time. The next time I went to New York, I studied at the Art Students League, but yes. All right. Then you went to New York. Then you went to New Orleans. Mm -hmm. you lived in New Orleans. Mm -hmm. And then you hit, and you went back to New York. And then you studied at the Art Students League. Yeah. And then you went to... Uh, San Francisco, San Francisco, which is where I remember visiting you at your uh, at your studio in San Francisco. Yeah. And then you went to Hamtramck, Michigan for a while. Yeah. And, and then also other parts of Detroit. I ended up staying there for six years. And it kind of kind of you were one of the um, it, it, it was like the 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 young arts people coming to Detroit. And now you've returned to San Francisco. Now yeah. you, you, for when I first met you, you were really making your living as a, as a teacher. You were doing a lot, a lot of uh, workshops. Is that still what your uh, bread and butter is? Or are you doing more um, just selling your work? What's, what's, how? Um, yeah, that? it's shifted. Um... I think, so teaching I did from like 30 to 42, I'm 43, uh, let's think of years, I don't know, 10 years, 12 years I was teaching, um, but kind of a few years before I have did a pivot where I'm doing more coaching now, kind of creativity coaching stuff, well I, I made that phrase up, so I don't know if anyone knows what that is, I, it's on my website. Um, I think like I taught a lot because I needed to still learn technique and you learn a lot by teaching. And then when I wasn't interested in that, it started to kind of detract instead of add to my energy. And so I needed to figure something out and I needed to think deeper. Mm -hmm. So I'm now thinking deeper with people and we're figuring that out together. And so that's what I'm doing. 